by 6. So if any number is divisible by 6 then the rule is if the number is divisible by both 2 and 3 we say that the given number is divisible by 6. If the given number is divisible by both 2 and 3 also it should be divisible by both 2 and 3 then the given number is also divisible by 6. Okay children if the number is divisible by 2 then if the number then the same number is not divisible by 3 then the given number is not divisible by 6. Got it? So if the given number is divisible by both 2 and 3 also then only the given number is divisible by 6. Okay now let us see the given number is divisible by 2 or not. So it is divisible by 2 right. So because the ending number is even right so it is divisible by 2 now let us find out the given number is divisible by 3 or not so how we have to find out we should add the digits right so 4 plus 0 plus 8 so 4 plus 0 is 4 4 plus 8 is 12 so 12 is divisible by 3 so that it is the given number is divisible by 2 and also 3 then the then this entire number is also divisible by divisible by 6 okay now let us check whether it is divisible by 6 or not so 6 6 the 36 right yes so 10 minus 6 is 4 3 minus 3 is 0 next we get 8 down right next 6 8 6 8 the 48 right so that it is divisible by 6 right so if the number is divisible by both 2 and 3 then the given number is also divisible by 6 so this is the divisibility rule 6 and the next rule is divisibility by 8 if the number is formed by the last three digits of the given number is divisible by 8 we said that the given number is divisible by 8 right so if the given number in that last three digits is divisible by 8 then the entire number is also divisible by 8 okay now let us take the last three digits now let us divide from 8 so 8 ones are 8 again take down 8 8 ones are 8 now take 8 8 ones are 8 say so, right the last three digits is divisible by 8 then the entire number is also divisible by 8. Got it children? And the next rule is divisibility by 9. So it states that if the sum of the digits of the number is divisible by 9, we say that the given number is divisible by 9. So if the sum of the digits, let us find out the sum. So 7 plus 2 plus 9 plus 6 plus 3 plus 9. 7 plus 2 is 9, 9 plus 9 is 18, 18 plus 6 is 24, 24 plus 3 is 27, 27 plus 9 is 36. So, 30, if 36, the sum of the given digits is 36. If 36 is divisible by 9, then the entire number is also divisible by 9. So, 36 is divisible by 9, right? Yes, so 9, 4 is 36, right? So, the sum is divisible by 96, then the entire number is also divisible by 9. Got it, children? And the next final divisibility rule is divisibility by 10. So, if any number is divisible by 10, the rule is if the number ends in a 0, if any digit number, 2 digit number, 3 digit number or 4 digit number, any digit number, if the number is ends with the last 0, then we say that the given number is divisible by 10. Okay. Now let us take example 8620. So here the last digit is 0. It is ends with 0, right? So then the entire number is also divisible by 10. So without doing actual doing division, we can say this number is divisible by 10. Now let us check whether this number is divisible by 10 or not. 8620. So 10 8 is 80, 
6 minus 0 is 6, 8 minus 8 is 0. Now take 2 down. So 10, 6 is 60, 2 as it is, 2 minus 0 is 2, 0, take down. So 10, 2 is the 20, yes, it is divisible by 10, right? So that if the last digits, the, the given number is ends with 0, then the entire number is also divisible by 10. Got it, children? So these are the divisibility tests. So in next session, we'll discuss exercise assignment 1, 2 and 3. Thank you.